hey what's going on guys today I'll be showing you how to create text shift animation so I already created this kind of t animation I have already created a tutorial on it uh, but this time I'll show you how to create this animation in a more easy and simple way so um, what we will need to do first is just set up our comp composition so from the project settings I'll choose 1080p at 60 frames per second and then click on start compositing after that once it opens up just uh, make sure that your workspace is set to compositing just click on this icon and then from the list select compositing let's change the duration of this composite shot so just click on this cog icon right here and from the duration just change the just type in 4 there and then click on ok so our animation will be 4 seconds long let's create a new background layer so just click on new layer then click on plane I'm going to rename this to BG as this will be our background. I'm going to select this nice yellow color as our background. Okay, now let's create a new text layer. So click on new layer and click on text. And set the width to 1920 and height to 1080, same as the size of our composition. Then click on OK. Select your text tool and then type in your text. I'm going to type in we are on hit ctrl a on your keyboard to select this text put the text tab and set the font color to black and click on ok also like to change the font size to 100 and set the font to arial black okay it's time to uh, align this text to the center but before that i'll just like to rename this layer to uh, text uh, this will be our text is on the left side so I'll just rename this to left so this is our text left layer to align this to the center in the effects tab search for 1080p title safe guide and just drag and drop it on your BG layer so you notice this uh, these guidelines right there and these will these guidelines will help you to align your text in the middle so what I'm gonna do is select my left text layer text left layer and just put it uh, on top of this white this line in the middle I'm not sure if you are able to see it so I'm just gonna put it right there let's just change the background color let's just make it orange click on OK uh, that is better okay now I'm just gonna put this on that line and uh, move it in the center like that okay now create another text layer it's for the same width and height click on ok select your text tool and this time i'm going to type in like facebook you can type in whatever you want okay hit ctrl a to select this text in the text tab set the font to arial and uh, rest is all good I'm gonna put this text right over here maybe right over let's just put it below our somewhere over here underneath this line this yellow guideline okay now uh, what we can do next is uh, let's just first of all rename this to right this will be our text right there I'm gonna animate it so expand it go to transform Make sure the playhead is at the first frame. Create a position keyframe there. Just simply click on this icon, circle icon to create a keyframe. I'm going to move 15 frames forward. You can check right over here. So we are at 15 frames right now. I'm going to change the position. I'm going to put this Facebook text on top of this, uh, this guideline, which is in the middle, like right there. All right, now I'm going to move 15 frames forward again. Then click on this icon that says toggle keyframe. So it will create a keyframe uh, similar to the keyframe, similar to the previous keyframe. Again, move 15 frames forward. And uh, then put your Twitter text in the middle like that. Again, move 15 frames forward. Click on this icon to create a keyframe. Again, move 15 frames forward 
This time we'll put the YouTube text in the middle. Again, move 15 frames forward. And create a keyframe by clicking on this icon. Again, move 15 frames forward. And uh, just put this text right over here somewhere. Anywhere over here. Okay. Uh, let's see our overall animation first. So, okay, it's really fast right now. So I'm just going to highlight all of these keyframes. Hit the Alt key on your keyboard. And uh, select this last keyframe. Click and hold. And just drag it to the right. And uh, put it somewhere around here. I'm going to highlight all of these keyframes again. Convert these to manual bezier. Go into value graph. And then just select this last keyframe and move its handle to the left. I'm going to leave this one as it is. I'm going to select this third one. Again, do the same thing like I did in my previous tutorial, selecting the keyframes in the alternate manner and just uh, changing the handles. Okay, now let's <coughs> play this animation and see how it looks. Okay, I think that is looking nice. I'm gonna do the same thing with this this text, the uh, which is on the left side. So I'm just going to expand my right text right layer. Double click on your second keyframe to move your playhead there. Expand the left text left layer. Go to transform. Would like to create a keyframe there, position keyframe. So just simply click on click on this icon to create the keyframe. Move to your first uh, frame of your video and uh, I'm going to put this text right over here. So we'll have something like this. I'm going to select both of these keyframes, convert these to a uh, manual bezier, go to value graph and select this handle and drag it to the left like that. Okay, let's play this. Yeah, that is looking fine. I'm going to do the same thing at the end as well. So I'm just going to expand my text right there. Double click on your second last keyframe to move your playhead there. Now we'll work under the text left layer. So we'll just uh, create a keyframe there. Just simply click on, click on this icon that says toggle keyframe to create a keyframe there. Then uh, double click on your last keyframe to move your playhead there. And just uh, just the position, just highlight the, your position layer. Make sure that your the left text left is highlighted, and just move it down below, like over there. Okay, and select these two keyframes. Convert these to manual bezier. Go to value graph, and on the last keyframe, we do the same thing. Create a curve like this. All right. Now, uh, what you have to do is create a new plane layer, name it mask, and give it uh, this uh, gray color. Click on OK. Uh, then I'm going to expand it, go to transform, I'm going to reduce the opacity so that I can see the text. I'll go somewhere in the middle, maybe right, right over here. Uh, just click on this icon to break the link so that you can just change the scale independently I'm gonna scale this down and also I like to change the position of this shape so let's just scale it down to about 10% and also let's just position it at around uh, let's say 39.3 let's do 40 okay now uh, what we can do is let's hide the mask layer in the effects tab search for set matte effect apply it on your text right layer with the controls tab you have the set matte layer expand it set the source layer to mask set the blend to subtract and then just click on this checkbox that says in wood i'm going to copy this set matte effect so right click on it and click on copy select your left text left layer highlight the effects right click and click on paste so that will paste that set matte effect on that layer as well so now we can just delete these guides we don't need 
them anymore so we can just delete it and let's play this and see how it looks and there we go we can just enable the motion blur on these two layers text layers and that's how you create this animation before I sign off I would like to tell you guys that I won't be active on YouTube uh, for maybe like two or three weeks I don't really know I have to travel um, I won't be staying at any specific place so just um, don't think that I have abandoned this channel or this channel is dead it's not like that this will just take me three weeks max I don't know really much about that so uh, what I want you to do is just hit the like button on this video show some love show some support also subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video goodbye